So have you been looking for a GTX 1080 Ti build that's somewhat in a budget, at least under $2,000, and you've come to the right place? Now I have put together a pretty exciting builds part list. No, not an official build because I can't afford to buy another computer right now, but it is pretty exciting to put this list together and see a complete GTX 1080 Ti build with also an a Ryzen 1600X, yes, a Ryzen 1600X and a GTX 1080 Ti, all for $1,500. If you guys are within this budget of $1,500, I know quite a few of you that are. Um, this was actually a subscriber of mine that asked me this question, can you make a parts list that's $1,500 and has a GTX 1080 Ti in it? And I said, sure, let me do what I can. This build doesn't cut any corners or anything like that. So this is a fully functioning build and it is quite beastly actually. Six cores, 12 threads, 4.1 gigahertz that you can overclock to. Um, and you also have a GTX 1080 Ti. I mean, what else can you really ask for? So uh, let's get into the video and I wanna show you guys this parts list. All right, so here is the build list. Now, I'm just gonna show the total right here. It is $1,517. Um, so it is very close to $1,500, give or take what you want on the power supply, and that number can be a little bit lower. Um, also, there's only one mail-in rebate, and that's for $8 for the NZXT case. And I really don't like mail-in rebates. I think they're really annoying. So I try to exclude them as much as possible. Also, those are temporary. So I would like this guide to be as applicable as far as it can be into the foreseeable future. So other than that, that's the total price that we're looking at here. Now let's break down what we actually have in the parts list. Okay, so right here, we're kicking it off with the Ryzen 5 1600X 3.6 gigahertz six core processor with 12 threads for 248 bucks. Now, this is a great processor. Um, I've seen a lot of videos of people pushing this CPU to uh, 4.1 gigahertz, and it's more than capable, I believe. It has the X, which is the extended frequency range, so it can be pushed a little bit further. You can do a lot more with that was 12 threads and you would be able to with a four core i5. So I personally really like this as opposed to the Intel i5 series. That's just my personal preference. For the CPU cooler, this one doesn't include the Wraith Spire or anything like that. So you have to get an aftermarket CPU cooler. Now I did go with the Cryorig CPU cooler and this is a low profile CPU cooler, as you can see here. I really like this cooler. I've read a bunch of reviews on it saying that it cools very well, it gets the job done. Um, you can go with the uh, Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master, but I wanted to change it up a little bit. Plus, I like the black and white scheme going on here, and it's about the same price as the Hyper 212 Evo. And we can see here it is uh, AM4 compatible, so that will work. Okay, next we have the Gigabyte uh, AX370K5 ATX motherboard. This is a full ATX motherboard and you are getting all the nifty little features that comes with this board it's a nice color uh color scheme you got rgb lights in here you have metal reinforced pcie brackets um you've got the nice io shield and everything else um really good power delivery with the i think 11 power phases if this is the same as the gigabyte ax370 gaming 5 motherboard and which i did an overview of that board so if you want to check that out it'll be linked in the card and also the description below and it's available for about the same price on amazon so if you have amazon prime you can definitely uh, take advantage of the free shipping if you wanted to next we have 16 gigs of gskill ddr4 ram at 3000 megahertz now i know ryzen really likes that at faster memory so we went with a 3000 megahertz memory which is about the sweet spot from what i read on a bunch of reviews g skill makes great ram so i mean there's that's pretty standard also the the gray and red color scheme will go nicely with the black motherboard and also the black and white uh, CPU cooler. So there's a bit of a trend going on here with the color scheme. Okay, so for storage, we've got 
um, the SanDisk 120 gig SSD. SanDisk makes a great SSD. I've got one in my Ryzen PC right now. So the SSD is basically here just to put your operating system on and some large programs. Um, you don't have to really put any games on there. If you want to, you can go with a larger SSD if you want to compromise on the space that you have available for your $1,500 budget. Now, with that being said, you have the OS running on that and everything else on this Western Digital uh, one terabyte drive here, which is about 50 bucks. Okay, so now we've got the really nice part of this build is alongside with the 1600X, and this is the Gigabyte GTX 1080 Ti Gaming OC. Uh, this is a really nice card. Gigabyte makes nice cards, of course, and it's got a really cool color scheme as well that I think will fit nicely with the black and white and also um, some red in there if you can. And also, this it's, it's just a good card. The GTX 1080 Ti is a beast. You can do 4K gaming with it. And you also have a processor that's more than capable of handling the frames coming out at 4K. Okay, so now we got the 1080 Ti alongside of that. We have the NZXT S340 black and red ATX mid tower case. This is a beautiful case. Uh, NZXT makes great cases alongside with Fantex. I think those are both at the top. Uh, PC case manufacturers and the black and red is just you know sexy. It's mostly black with the, some small accents of red which I like. It's not overly black and red so I know the black and red theme is overused a lot but these are just subtle hints of red here and it's gonna go well with the white and black in there from all the other components and it's gonna look more than just a black and red build. It's gonna be black, red, and white so that'll be that'll be really cool. And then here we have the EVGA 750 watt uh, gold efficiency modular, fully modular ATX power supply. So you can you can change this as you will. You can see that we have about a 470 watt uh, power threshold here, and uh, give or take about a multiplier of 1.5. You want to have at least about 700 watts of power here, probably. So we're going to say 750 just to be safe. And then uh, you can you can have it fully modular if you want. If you want to go with a semi modular or the non modular, you can save a couple bucks there in case you want to um, add in some nice case fans or something extra that you want. And uh, yeah, it, it's on Amazon. So via Prime, you can definitely take advantage of free shipping there. So this is a really good list that we have here, and it's going to be really solid when you want to really get the most out of gaming performance and also productivity in case you are a content creator or anything of the likes that really use CPU intensive programs. So yeah, that's the parts list right there. Let me know what you guys think of it. That's gonna be one of the best all round prices that I can find for $1,500 and probably the best bang for your buck, I would say for $1,500, you're getting a lot out of that build personally I believe so let me know what you guys think about this build list maybe it helps you out um, if you guys want me to put together future lists that are a little bit cheaper of course I can do that as well and make a video for you guys and I could share that with everyone I'll be putting the link in the description for this parts list specifically and you guys can go and check that out and modify it as you need for your specific budget but yeah you have a 1080 ti and a ryzen 1600x 16 gigs of memory and you have the ssd those are like the main things i always want i've seen a lot of builds on youtube that have the 1080 ti that are absolutely astronomical well above two thousand dollars so being able to fit underneath that two thousand dollar price line I think it's pretty solid. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, as I said before, let me know. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.